so in this lesson we're going to learn how to create our cornish that is the parapet and our roof so to create cornish or roof you come to roof level you left click on the roof level twice or you left click right click and click on open you now come to roof level so when you are here under the architecture tab you will find components so you click on place first first is the paraffin we are creating you click model in place okay okay then you use sweep on a sweep let's say sketch part the sketch part means that we want to sketch around the area that that we are drawing the column so we sketch begin to sketch Good. this is what we have here so you click on finish then you edit profile okay so edit profile I like changing my scale to smaller scale so you can now sketch the profile that you want let's say we want to go here 50 go here 50 we go here 50 again we go here 50 we go here 200 we go here 300 50 50 50 the then I'll pick this one I'll join here the model is your choice I can delete this one to have this shape then I just finish once so this is what I did let me do good after here I click on finish I finish twice okay so under properties i can click this material this place that will come up i can duplicate this i may write para pet appearance okay i open this i'll apply and close this is what we have Uh, this one to just create it then i can finish you can see the shape of our parapet so so we now create roof we see go back to roof level left click twice or left click right click and open on the architecture come to come to model come to component model in place okay then we sweep no 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 for roof this is roof we'll come to roof by using roof by footprint so you just click on roof by footprint then pick lines let's offset this to 50 50 50 50 if there's anywhere that is not joining or join you can trim you can use trim to join them together then you finish or looking at it in 3d you can see that it's not we're not there yet it's too thick so we'll come to property we we'll select the roof come to its properties under this place on properties you click here then you come to the thickness they give you one mm you can even come to this place to the color you duplicate uh -huh. you can see roof 
come to graphic come to appearance here here it has this has already been ticked so come to appearance we duplicate again now now open these properties let me type roof and see there's something will come up okay this came up so let's say I want to use that Spanish roof I'll left click on it twice cancel this Spanish roof is here this is anything that wasn't really important let me take with the color one so we now have our Spanish roof there and then we'll close so this is what we have here so what we'll do now is we'll move it you select this pick move maybe you can hold it somewhere here and drop it there or you can just use your up key to shift it to sit up here so now we have our roof so the next thing we we'll do is can change the angle of this roof by selecting it and come to property you can see roof here so you can see slope we can change that slope to 35 uh, we we'll have our roof there this or how our roof there so if if here was going to be a gable roof you can select it's on on your on your roof level the place that's supposed to be a gable roof you remove define slope finish split it in 3d this is what you have there yeah and then to close that area you select this wall you select the wall then say attach top to base you attach it you attach your top to base and you have this so this place what can you do there on the roof we have fascia you can select your fascia you can close it this way as one way of doing it and you have something of this nature you can select this fascia open the category you can there are many types here or oh, going with the one we choose there the default one you come to on there that is the material you can come to paint again you can duplicate the original you tick here and you can as you duplicate here you can rename it take a fa fascia so on the appearance you can change that color to white oops I mistakenly click cancel I'll come back any of these ones you can duplicate a first fascia you write what you can remember choose why apply okay apply okay good you have that that is one way of doing it another way of dealing with that we use extrusion still not that hard as it is in 3d we we'll come to model in place Then we can use extrusion under extrusion we can set work plane now we want to set where we want to work so we want to work on this wall we'll click there then we'll pick lines pick these lines good so we can trim we can trim these lines okay so we can offset these lines 
let's start with 300 and see what we get okay this is not bad all right okay so now after getting that let's let's pick this line yes we pick this one here so let's pick split we split two of them here we join this one we join this one we join this one we join this one so let's finish and see there okay. or press finish so this is what we have here for now so what we can do here we change this color to our parapet by clicking properties you can use you, you can use fascia mm. and then the depth can also be increased it's 250 already we can take it to 300 and see 350 Oops, 35, 350. Good. Let's try 400. 400. Okay. All right. So we have that. I think this too looks good. It's not looking bad. Good. So that's that. So about roof creation. That is where we will stop today.